Hi my friends, today we model this part. It is uh, complicated enough. And this is the drawing where we have to start with this contour. You see? This all around. Dimensions are here, radius 40, 28, 116, radius 20, and the uh, height of 94. Don't forget this 8 millimeters from the tangent. This uh, part is number 48 from my collection of 100 mechanical parts. New empty document. Take a look of this uh, workbench and select CAD, not Bender, because we create uh, mechanical parts. Sketch XY plane and polyline. Start from here, going to the right down horizontal MMM and close here this uh, arc is not coincident in the center so we have to place them coincident this radius is uh, 40. This distance is uh, 28. Plus 1, 16, plus 20, minus 8. All these are dimensions in the drawing okay we don't invent new dimensions by heart because we can make mistakes circle 20 multiplied by 2 then another one is here another is here and the last is this one they are equal their diameter or radius are equal vertical for these two points vertical for this other two Dimensions 28 and 116. Close pad 94. This is the first volume. We continue with this uh, bottom flange, a thickness of 12, radius 48, and we draw this line and tangent to this uh, arc back to that arc. We turn back the part, we select this face, then project this arc and this arc then polyline starting from here inside inside vertical here back to the axis then 
M M M to go back here. This uh, arc is not coincident with this, so we apply coincident between these two points. Coincident. Then we place also coincident this point with this arc this point with this point and dimensions radius 48 we have to find this point coincident this point with this point this with this arc and we have a green contour close pad the other direction 12 good next is this feature with dimensions 28 radius 26 it is placed at a distance of 86 from this and 108 is the full dimension we start by creating a sketch on this plane on this plane the mid plane new sketch xz plane we want to see inside we apply view section and we project this bottom line then polyline starting from that line up MMM you know this procedure go back to the line and close contour then we apply vertical for this distance of 86 to the center point 26 is this distance and radius 28 close the sketch is inside 108 is the extrusion we apply pad symmetric and 108 you see this and these features now this uh, void volume this is the contour and 84 is the depth don't forget radius 32 18 and this is radius 20 inside turn back again this face with a new sketch then polyline from here to somewhere here horizontal down axis MMM and back to here we place coincident this point and this point we have to enlarge this to apply that uh, tool radius is 32 
this is not horizontal or this is oh it is also tangent uh, this uh, distance is Twenty eight plus one sixteen plus twenty minus eighteen. Okay, now we project this arc, this arc, this and this because we apply center start from blue go back to blue center start from blue back to other blue center here then blue to blue all of them are equal to the external arcs the correspondent external arcs then we apply trim to this 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 and also this close pocket on 84 okay now we create uh, this extension this extension cylindrical and this internal 52 on 122 minus 94 this is 60 at uh, 140 minus 94 and here is 52 with 12 let's create this uh, three new features this face new sketch circle 52 close pad 122 minus 94 then once again sketch here with a circle on this axis diameter of 60 distance of 86 from the center point close pad 140 minus 94 we go inside on this face for a new sketch we turn back this to project this circle and we create our new circle to be extruded with pad on 12 okay now holes 
this for our sixteen. This is twenty-eight. This is twenty, and this is a counter bore with twenty-eight, forty-six, and six. Let's create all this. We select this face. We select this tool. We place here sixteen, and dimensions through all. Okay. We select this hole twenty through all. We select this hole twenty eight through all through all the part outside there. The last is this as a counter bore. Twenty-eight internal diameter dimension through all counter bore forty-six and six. Okay. The last are these two fillets with radius four. We select an edge, then we keep press the control key on the keyboard, and we select the other edge. Fillet four millimeters. Okay. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.